Step into the enigmatic world of Hollywood's golden age as we delve into the captivating persona of one of its most enduring icons, Cary Grant. With his suave charm, impeccable style, and magnetic on-screen presence, Grant enthralled audiences and left an indelible mark on the film industry. But behind the radiant facade, shadows lurked, secrets whispered, and mysteries unfolded. In this exploration, we peel back the layers to uncover the enigmas that surrounded Grant's life, from his elusive past to the rumors that swirled around him. Join us on a journey to unveil the complexities and shadows that shaped the legendary figure known as Cary Grant, as we seek to unravel the enigma behind the icon, early life. Cary Grant, born Archibald Alexander Leach on January 18, 1904, in Bristol, England, emerged from humble beginnings to become one of Hollywood's most enduring and beloved stars. His early life was marked by adversity, shaping the man who would later captivate audiences with his charm and charisma. Grant's childhood was far from idyllic. He grew up in a working-class family, and his father, Elias James Leach, worked as a tailor's presser. His mother, Elsie Maria Leach, as a seamstress. However, when Grant was just nine years old, his life took a tragic turn. His mother was committed to a mental institution, an event that left a profound impact on him. Grant was told that his mother had passed away, and he didn't discover the truth until he was 31 years old. Following this upheaval, young Grant found solace in the world of theater. At the age of 14, he joined the Bob Pender Stage Troupe, a traveling theater company. This experience nurtured his passion for performing and offered an escape from the challenges of his personal life. Grant honed his skills as an acrobat, tumbler, and mime, developing the physicality that would later become a hallmark of his acting style. In 1920, Grant's journey took a significant turn when he traveled to the United States as part of the Pender Troops tour. Initially, the plan was for the troop to return to England, but Grant decided to stay in America, eager to pursue his dreams of success and stardom. He settled in New York City, where he faced the harsh realities of life as a struggling performer. His early years in America were marked by hardship and perseverance, as he worked odd jobs to make ends meet, often struggling with poverty and hunger. Despite the challenges, Grant remained determined to break into show business. His break eventually came when he landed a role in the musical comedy Golden Dawn in 1923. This marked his Broadway debut and provided a stepping stone to further opportunities in the entertainment industry. Over the next few years, Grant honed his craft on the Broadway stage, appearing in various musicals and plays. Not long after, his talent and charisma caught the attention of Paramount Pictures, and in 1932, he made his film debut in This Is The Night. Initially, Grant faced criticism for his thick accent and lack of experience in front of the camera. However, he persevered, taking acting lessons and refining his skills to overcome these challenges. Grant's breakthrough role eventually came in 1937 with The Awful Truth, a screwball comedy that showcased his impeccable comedic timing. This film marked the beginning of his successful collaboration with director Howard Hawks and established Grant as a leading man in Hollywood. His magnetic screen presence, coupled with his ability to effortlessly navigate both comedy and drama, catapulted him to stardom. Throughout his early career, Grant starred in a series of successful films, including Bringing Up Baby in 1938, Holiday, also in 1938, and His Girl Friday in 1940. His on-screen chemistry with co-stars such as Katherine Hepburn and Rosalind Russell became legendary, solidifying his status as one of Hollywood's most sought-after actors. Beyond his professional achievements, Grant's personal life also underwent significant changes during this period. In 1934, he obtained his U.S. citizenship, officially becoming an American. Additionally, Grant's love life garnered considerable attention. He married actress Virginia Cheryl in 1934, but the union ended in divorce just two years later. Grant's early life experiences undoubtedly shaped his approach to fame and success. The hardships he endured instilled in him a relentless drive to prove himself and rise above his circumstances. His journey from a working-class boy in Bristol 
to an international superstar was a testament to his resilience, talent, and unwavering determination. As the curtain closed on the early years of Cary Grant's life, a new chapter awaited one that would see him ascend to even greater heights of stardom and leave an indelible mark on the history of cinema. The challenges he faced and the triumphs he achieved laid the foundation for the iconic figure he would become, captivating audiences for generations to come. Some of the challenges Cary Grant faced during his early years in America. Cary Grant faced several significant challenges that tested his resilience and determination. These obstacles included First, financial struggles. After arriving in the United States, Grant experienced extreme financial hardships. The pursuit of his dreams was met with the harsh reality of the economic challenges faced by many aspiring performers. Grant also faced language and cultural barriers due to his thick English accent and unfamiliarity with American culture. These challenges affected his early attempts at breaking into show business, and he constantly faced criticism and skepticism regarding his accent and suitability for American audiences. In the beginning of his career, Grant lack of film experience. He had primarily been involved in theater and had limited experience in front of the camera. This lack of film experience presented a hurdle as he transitioned into the world of movies. Critics and industry professionals initially questioned his ability to adapt to the demands of film acting. Moving to a new country can be a daunting experience, and Grant had to adjust to a different culture, social norms, and lifestyle. This included navigating the complexities of American society, building a network of contacts in the entertainment industry, and establishing a sense of belonging in a foreign land. Also as an English actor, Grant faced preconceived notions and stereotypes about his background and acting abilities. He had to work hard to prove himself and challenge the perceptions that some held regarding British actors in Hollywood. Despite these challenges, Grant's determination, talent, and perseverance ultimately helped him overcome these obstacles. He took acting lessons, refined his skills, and worked tirelessly to establish himself as one of Hollywood's most iconic and beloved stars. His early struggles shaped his character and instilled in him a fierce drive to succeed, propelling him towards a remarkable career in the entertainment industry. Some of the odd jobs that Cary Grant took on during his early years in America. One of Grant's early odd jobs was working as a stilt walker. This involved performing on stilts, entertaining crowds with his balance and agility. Grant also found work as a performer in carnivals. He would showcase his acrobatic skills and entertain spectators with his talents. Also, Grant took to the streets as a busker, performing as a street musician or entertainer. This allowed him to earn money by showcasing his talents to passers-by. He joined vaudeville shows, a popular form of entertainment in the early 20th century where he would perform in variety acts, showcasing his skills in comedy, singing, or dancing. Grant's early background in theater and his training as an acrobat and tumbler came into play as he took on jobs that required physical prowess. He would perform acrobatic stunts and tumbling routines to entertain audiences. These odd jobs provided Grant with a means to make ends meet during his early years in America. Although they were not glamorous or financially lucrative, these jobs allowed him to sustain himself while pursuing his dreams of becoming an actor. Grant's willingness to take on diverse roles and embrace these unconventional opportunities showcased his determination and resourcefulness in overcoming financial challenges and laying the foundation for his eventual success in the entertainment industry. How Cary Grant managed to overcome the financial struggles he faced during his early years in America. Cary Grant navigated his financial struggles during his early years in America through a combination of resourcefulness, hard work, and perseverance. Here are some ways in which he managed to overcome his financial challenges. First, he took odd jobs. Grant took on various odd jobs to make ends meet. He worked as a stilt walker, a carnival performer, a busker, and even a vaudeville performer. These jobs provided him with a modest income and helped him sustain himself while pursuing his acting career. Grant also found opportunities in the theater world, which allowed him to earn a living while honing his acting skills. He joined touring theater companies and performed in musicals and plays on Broadway. These roles provided him with consistent income and valuable experience in the performing arts. Grant's unwavering determination and persistence 
played a crucial role in his ability to overcome financial struggles. Despite facing setbacks and hardships, he remained committed to his dream of becoming a successful actor. He continued to audition, seek opportunities, and improve his craft, refusing to give up on his aspirations. Grant's talent and charisma caught the attention of Paramount Pictures, one of the major film studios at the time. In 1932, he signed a contract with Paramount, marking his entry into the world of cinema. This contract provided him with a more stable source of income and opened doors to further opportunities in the film industry. He also recognized the importance of continuous learning and skill development. He took acting lessons to improve his technique and adapt his stage experience to the demands of film acting. This investment in his craft allowed him to expand his range and appeal as an actor, leading to more substantial roles and higher paying projects. Through a combination of hard work, seizing opportunities, and a steadfast commitment to his goals, Cary Grant managed to overcome his financial struggles. His resilience, talent, and determination not only helped him secure financial stability, but also paved the way for his remarkable rise to become one of Hollywood's most enduring and iconic stars. Collaborations. Due to his remarkable ability to work with in several capacities, Cary Grant quickly found himself collaborating with some of the best directors, actors, and actresses of his time. These partnerships resulted in memorable and iconic films that have left an indelible mark on the history of cinema. Some notable screen collaborations that exemplify Grant's talent and versatility include the one with the master of suspense, Alfred Hitchcock, which produced some of his most memorable performances. In films like North by Northwest and To Catch a Thief, Grant's suave and charismatic presence perfectly complemented Hitchcock's suspenseful storytelling. Their collaboration showcased Grant's ability to effortlessly navigate complex characters in thrilling and suspenseful scenarios, solidifying his status as a leading man. Grant's partnership with director Howard Hawks resulted in several classic films that showcased his comedic timing and versatility. In Bringing Up Baby, Grant starred alongside Katherine Hepburn in a screwball comedy that highlighted his impeccable comedic skills. Their chemistry and banter on screen created a dynamic and hilarious pairing. Grant's collaborations with Hawks, including His Girl Friday and I Was a Male War Bride, further demonstrated his talent for comedy and his ability to deliver rapid-fire dialogue with impeccable timing. Grant's collaboration with director George Cukor yielded exceptional performances in films that explored more nuanced and dramatic roles. In The Philadelphia Story, Grant starred alongside Katherine Hepburn and James Stewart, delivering a compelling portrayal of a charming ex-husband. His ability to convey both vulnerability and sophistication contributed to the film's success and earned him critical acclaim. Additionally, in Holiday, Grant's performance as a free-spirited young man showcased his versatility in capturing complex emotions. Throughout his rich career, Cary Grant shared the screen with numerous leading actresses, forming captivating on-screen partnerships. He worked with Ingrid Bergman in films like Notorious and Indiscreet, showcased their chemistry, and resulted in captivating performances. Grant's pairing with Audrey Hepburn in Charade provided a delightful blend of romance and suspense. These collaborations with talented actresses reinforced Grant's reputation as a charismatic and versatile leading man. Cary Grant's screen collaborations with acclaimed directors, talented actors, and actresses not only produced outstanding films, but also highlighted his ability to adapt to various genres and create memorable characters. His on-screen partnerships were marked by chemistry, talent, and a shared commitment to delivering exceptional performances. Grant's collaborations remain cherished and continue to captivate audiences, cementing his status as an iconic figure in the history of cinema. Turning Point in His Career Cary Grant met some turning points that propelled him to new heights of success and solidified his status as a beloved leading man. In 1932, Grant made his film debut in This Is The Night. Despite initial criticism of his accent and lack of film experience, Grant's breakthrough came with his role in The Awful Truth in 1937, directed by Leo McCary. 
This screwball comedy showcased his impeccable comedic timing and charm, establishing him as a leading man in Hollywood. Grant's ability to effortlessly navigate both comedy and drama in films like Bringing Up Baby in 1938 and His Girl Friday in 1940 solidified his reputation as a versatile actor. Grant's collaboration with legendary director Alfred Hitchcock became a significant turning point in his career. Their first collaboration, Suspicion in 1941, earned Grant his first Academy Award nomination. This partnership continued with classics like Notorious and North by Northwest, showcasing Grant's ability to portray complex characters in suspenseful and thrilling narratives. In the 1940s Sand 50s, Grant successfully transitioned from the lighter, comedic roles of his earlier career to more mature and dramatic roles. Films like Penny Serenade, None But the Lonely Heart, and An Affair to Remember demonstrated his range as an actor and his ability to convey depth and emotion on screen. Surprisingly, in 1953, Grant announced his retirement from acting at the very height of his career. However, he returned to the silver screen in 1957 with An Affair to Remember. This comeback marked another turning point in his career and showcased his enduring appeal to audiences. Cary Grant's career was defined by these turning points, which allowed him to evolve as an actor, take on diverse roles, and leave an indelible mark on the history of cinema. His collaborations with esteemed directors, ability to transition between genres, and his timeless charm contributed to his enduring legacy as one of Hollywood's most beloved stars. And now, for our subscribers' pick, this image of Cary Grant's daughter standing beside an old picture of her father. This portrayal carries with it a sense of purpose, strength, and a desire to set the record straight. Grant's daughter symbolically takes a stand, potentially not confirming the rumor going around about her father and debunk the rumors and misconceptions that have surrounded her late father's life. Her presence in the image suggests a personal connection and a deep understanding of her father's legacy. It signifies a willingness to confront the speculation and shed light on the truth, providing a counterbalance to the swirling rumors that may have clouded the public's perception of Cary Grant. The old picture of Cary Grant carries its own weight as a visual artifact from the past. It serves as a reminder of his iconic status and the mark he left on the film industry. It represents the image that has been projected and celebrated throughout the years, but also the image that may have been subject to distortion and speculation. This image stands as a point of reference, inviting viewers to reevaluate their preconceived notions and embrace a more accurate understanding of Cary Grant's life and legacy. Through the presence of his daughter, the image symbolizes a personal journey of reclaiming the truth and preserving the authentic memory of her father ensuring that his legacy remains untarnished by falsehoods and hearsay. What's your take about the image? Share with us in the comments. Family life. Away from the public eye, Cary Grant's family life was marked by a series of relationships, marriages, and personal experiences. Grant had a total of five wives. Yes, you heard that right. His first wife was Virginia Cheryl, and they got married between 1934 to 1935. Cheryl was an American actress known for her role in Charlie Chaplin's film City Lights. However, the marriage was short-lived and ended in divorce. Grant's second marriage was to Barbara Hutton, and it lasted from 1942 to 1945. She was an heiress and socialite. Their high-profile union attracted significant media attention at the time. Despite the glamorous facade, their marriage faced challenges and ultimately ended in divorce. Grant's third marriage was to actress Betsy Drake, and it lasted from 1949 to 1962. The couple appeared together in films like Room for One More and Every Girl Should Be Married. Their relationship was considered one of Grant's most stable and enduring, and they collaborated on various ventures, including the development of their own production company. However, the marriage eventually ended in divorce. In 1965, Grant had his fourth fourth marriage, which lasted till 1968. It was to actress Diane Cannon. They met on the set of the film Operation Petticoat and got married. 
The union was blessed with a daughter, Jennifer Grant. However, their marriage faced challenges, and the couple divorced in 1968. Grant's fifth and final marriage was to Barbara Harris, a British hotel public relations officer. They tied the knot in 1981, and their marriage lasted until Grant's death in 1986. As mentioned, Cary Grant had one daughter named Jennifer Grant, born in 1966 during his marriage to Diane Cannon. Jennifer followed in her parents' footsteps, pursuing a career in acting. As regards to his personal life, Grant was known for his charm, sophistication, and private nature. He valued his privacy and maintained a carefully crafted public image. While he had a successful career, his personal life was not without its challenges. Grant struggled with insecurities, went through therapy, and explored spiritual practices to find personal fulfillment. Despite the ups and downs in his relationships and personal life, Cary Grant's legacy as a Hollywood icon and his contributions to the world of film continue to be celebrated. His talent, charisma, and enduring on-screen presence have left an indelible mark on cinema, ensuring that his name will be remembered for generations to come. Some dark rumors about Cary Grant. While Cary Grant had a glamorous and successful career, there were some dark rumors and speculations surrounding his early life. First was his name, Change and Hidden Past. One persistent rumor surrounding Cary Grant's early life was that he had changed his name and concealed a troubled or criminal past. According to the rumor, Grant was born Archibald Alexander Leach in Bristol, England, and had supposedly assumed a new identity to escape a difficult upbringing or criminal involvement. However, this rumor has been debunked, as there are no concrete evidence to support the wild claims. Grant's name change was a professional decision, chosen to create a more marketable image for his acting career. The second rumor centered around bisexuality and relationships with men. According to some strange speculations, Grant had relationships with both men and women, including his close friendship with actor Randolph Scott. The nature of their relationship has been a subject of speculation, but there is no concrete evidence to support claims of a romantic involvement between them, nor has there been any confirmation regarding Grant's sexual orientation. It's important to approach rumors with skepticism, as they often arise from speculation, gossip, or sensationalized stories. Cary Grant was a private individual who guarded his personal life, making it difficult to separate fact from fiction. While these rumors may have intrigued the public, they remain unverified and should be regarded as such. What Cary Grant Daughter Has to Say About the Rumors Jennifer Grant, Cary Grant's daughter, has confirmed the rumors surrounding her father's personal life in various interviews and writings. It is worth noting that she has generally expressed her frustration with the persistent rumors and speculation surrounding her father. Jennifer Grant has emphasized that her father was not flirtatious with men and was a private person who valued his personal life and preferred to keep it separate from his public image. She has often highlighted that the rumors and speculations about her father's personal life are unfounded and should not overshadow his accomplishments as an actor and his contributions to the film industry. It's important to respect Jennifer Grant's perspective and her desire to protect her father's legacy. While she may have addressed the rumors at different times, her stance generally aligns with the fact that Cary Grant's personal life should not be the sole focus when discussing his career and impact as a Hollywood icon. Health Challenges and Death The cause of Cary Grant's death was a cerebral hemorrhage, which occurred on November 29, 1986. A cerebral hemorrhage refers to bleeding in the brain, typically caused by the rupture of a blood vessel. It can be a severe medical condition and often leads to significant health complications. Grant's cerebral hemorrhage occurred while he was at the Hotel Blackhawk in Davenport, Iowa, on a promotional tour for his memoir, Cary Grant, A Class Apart. Grant had been feeling unwell and experienced a sudden and severe headache. He was quickly taken to St. Luke's Hospital, where he was diagnosed with a cerebral hemorrhage. Despite receiving medical attention, his condition deteriorated rapidly, and he passed away later that evening. The news of Cary Grant's death shocked and saddened fans around the world. His passing marked the end of a legendary career and left a void in the world of cinema. 
Grant's contributions to film, his charismatic on-screen presence, and his enduring status as a Hollywood icon have ensured that he remains one of the most beloved actors in history, even after his untimely demise. Apart from his cause of death, Cary Grant did not have any widely known or documented health issues prior to his cerebral hemorrhage. He was generally perceived as a healthy and active individual throughout his life. However, it's important to note that Grant was a private person who kept his personal life away from the public eye, so it is possible that he may have had health concerns that were not widely known. After his death, it was revealed that Grant had undergone a surgical procedure to treat early-stage prostate cancer in 1980. He chose to keep his diagnosis and treatment private, and it was not widely revealed until after his passing. However, there is no direct evidence linking his prostate cancer treatment to his cerebral hemorrhage. Please note that cerebral hemorrhages can occur spontaneously, and they are not necessarily associated with pre-existing health issues. They can be caused by various factors, including high blood pressure, aneurysms, or other underlying conditions. In Grant's case, the exact cause of his cerebral hemorrhage may have been multifactorial and not directly attributed to any known health issues prior to his death. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.